original Bay Bridge bell from 1937. It's one of five fog bells from the Bay Bridge. One of them is about to be installed on the sky deck at 375 Beale, home to MTC and the Bay Area Toll Authority, which financed the seismic upgrade of the Bay Bridge. The fog bells were original fog bells from 1935 uh, when the bridge was built uh, as part of the navigation system for the bridge. The navigation system combined the uh, fog horns and fog bells. <laughs> and the different sounds basically identify the different channels, the different shipping channels, so it'd be easier for uh, mariners to know where they are during the fog. These bales are about 55 inches tall, about 42 inches wide. They weigh about 3,000 pounds. We had two of them at the center anchorage on the west band, and then three of them a little smaller in size on the east band. So as part of the seismic upgrade, as we were doing our electrical system work, uh, on the Bay Bridge, we had to redo the substation on the west span, including that work was restoration of the fog bells, but we also did all the electronics, the striker, and brought it back operational and reinstalled it on the west span. That gave us the idea of uh, how beautiful these uh, bells look, so we salvaged the three on the old east span as the bridge was being demolished. The smaller bells, like this one, each weigh 1,500 pounds are 42 inches tall and 36 inches wide. It won't fit through most doorways. It is supposed to fit through this door. Tight, tight. Within half an inch. It does go through and navigates the tight corners and columns leading to the southeastern side of the eighth floor for an hour long, difficult installation. Until now, the shiny brass had never really been seen. When they were installed, the bells were painted gray to match the bridge. Blaco Incorporated, which installed the nighttime moving lights on the west span, paid for the restoration of bell number two. Bell number three, as you can see, is going to 375 Beale at MTC. Bell number one will go to the bridge yard, the old Bay Bridge commuter train storage building which is being retrofitted to become a museum and training center. Since the bell was designed to aid navigation and save lives, it seemed so appropriate to donate bell number two to the California Highway Patrol. Oh, say can you see by the dawn? Since 1929, the Golden Gate Division has lost 37 officers. Statewide, the CHP has lost 226. The bell, which rang true for saving lives, now eternally helps remember lives lost in the Golden Gate Division. The family of Sergeant Richard Tremboth, can you please stand? 37 families are represented here. 85-year-old Phyllis Hebert remembers her dad's death vividly. She was seven years old. Richard Trembath was one of the first CHP officers assigned to the Bay Bridge. We were living in Albany and my dad had been promoted to sergeant the day he was killed. And it was going to be the last time he would ever ride the motorcycle. Her sister was 18 months old at the time. Her memories are tied to family pictures. So I could look at his picture and get a sense of what he looked like. Richard Hebert is the grandson. Richard Trembath never knew. My grandfather was like the first high patrolman just about to patrol the bridge. He was killed the same year after that it opened. Officer Charles H. Nissen, end of watch, December 17, 1935. Sergeant Richard H. Trembath, end of watch, December 4, 1937. Now when I hear about somebody being killed and they, they've left a child, I always say don't forget about the kid because you may not understand about death, but there are real feelings here. Danny Susena did his part to honor the fallen officers and to honor the history of the Bells.
This is my dad. Hi. He has no idea why he's here yet. He's the guy who's been restoring the smaller bells Come on, Father. from the eastern span of the Bay Bridge and is here now to polish the bell at 375 Beale in time for the building opening. He's proud of his work. Like it? Yeah. Very nice, huh? If there's one person in the world he wants to impress, it's his 76-year-old steelworker father. The work involved doing this bell. He told him they were going fishing so he could surprise him. Just start polishing. Just rub it on. You do your half, we'll do a competition. I take care of him. Takes care of me. We had a great, great amount of time on the bridge and it's, a, it's been a pleasure. It's been a part of history. This is the easy part. The hard part was getting it to this point. When I start polishing it, I started with the rough to break it down. And as it was getting closer to the finer paper and trying to get it to that shine, it's a little at a time you can see my face. I look, no reflection, look. Then all of a sudden, after I got to, towards this part, it's, it's awesome. Underneath this was obviously something better. And I was glad to show, to show it and display it the way it should have been. It's really beautiful, beautiful work. Wow, that's loud. I like the length, the length of it. It's awesome. There you go. <laughs> Good job. I'm proud of this, man. Good job. At 375 Beale, Mark Jones reporting.